So, PFF. Listen, I'm not kidding when I say we're keeping receipts here, guys. But PFF ranked all the running back units in the NFL. And I, I understand the somewhat negative tone toward us. Because obviously Chase Brown, if you're not a Bengals fan or you like the Bengals, you probably don't realize how well or how good Chase Brown is going to take off this season and how amazing of a player he truly is going to be, right? You probably don't understand that if you're not a Bengals fan. I get that. Based on metrics and what PFF goes off of, I understand that Chase Brown isn't the number one player on all the metrics, okay? Zach Moss, though, I think should be a little bit higher up on the list of metrics because the guy is coming off of, before Zach, before Jonathan Taylor came back, he's coming off a fantastic season where he was a top 10 running back in the league before Jonathan Taylor came back. So there has to be some love and some positive energy for that. Obviously, we did lose Joe Mixon, and it is what it is at the end of the day. But again, at the end of the day, those two running backs are going to be a top 10 unit this year. Maybe even more depending on how well Chase Brown does. But let's see where they rank us. 49ers number one. I mean, it's CMC. I'm not, I'm not arguing that. And again, like I said, I'm not saying that we should be top 10. Because I think that, again, Chase Brown has to take off. And there's some there's some running back cores who are already, like, determined, right? Or not determined. Already, you know, um, solidified. So I think if I'm being realistic, and I'm trying not to be biased here because I do love Chase Brown, I think by the end of this season, we're going to be a top 10. But I think going into this season, I think top 15 is realistic. I think top 15 is realistic. I think top 10 is what will be at the end of the season. But I think top 15 is realistic. Anything, if they do us top 20, I haven't looked at our ranking yet. If they do us top 20, I'm okay with that. I don't love it, but I understand it. Top 15, I think, is realistic. But, I mean, like, again, Derrick Henry, you know, Justice Hill, uh, Keaton Mitchell. I think that's more of a solidified, you know, shown in the past that they're going to be a top five unit. I, I don't mind them being ranked above us. You know, we have a lot of hidden potential. Miami, they have A-Chain and Raheem Moser. Like, those are two really good options. So I understand that one. David Montgomery and Gibbs, both of them really amazing options. Okay. Ravens, like I said before, Keaton Mitchell and Derrick Henry. And also Justice Hill, I think, is kind of a you know guy that could also be up there. Again, I'm not, I'm not mad if they rank these guys above us. I mean, I think, you know, we have a lot to prove, but I think we will prove. Uh, Gibbs and Tyler Algier. Although Tyler Algier, he didn't really, uh, he didn't really do as well. I feel like last season. It. I don't know. Gibbs last year was. I mean, not Gibbs. Bijan Robinson. Why do we keep going Gibbs? Gibbs is Lions. Bijan Robinson. Yeah. Okay. Packers with Josh Jacobs and AJ Dillon. I think this could be a really. Wait, AJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron Jones went to the Vikings. With Josh Jacobs and AJ Dillon, I think they could be a really nice one two punch. Jonathan Taylor. I mean, there really isn't anyone behind Jonathan Taylor, though, that's that good. So, because Zach Moss left. So, I, I don't know if I really agree 100% with this one. Obviously, Nick Chubb. But again, behind Nick Chubb, who is there really? Jerome Ford? I guess, yeah, he. More than 800 yards. Cream Hunt no longer with the team. Yeah, that's that's a questionable one. Saquon Barkley, okay. And then New York Jets, Brees Hall. But again, I, I, are the, this is supposed to be units, right? Not just one player. I feel like if you have a star running back and then the rest of these are just backups who aren't really that, you know, spectacularly crazy, I, I don't know if that would be a unit or more or less just one guy. I mean, I guess he does, that one player really does, you know, kind of spearhead the whole thing, but okay. Kyron Williams is number 11. And again, like, there's no one behind him that's that good. 
Jacksonville, Travis Etienne. They also have Tank Bixley, who is really good. Dearness Johnson, who's from the Cleveland Brownies. He's good. Um, Ty Chandler. Oh, no. Never mind. Ty Chandler. <laughs> Ty Chandler's young. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking when I said Ty Chandler, I was thinking about Ty Montgomery. You guys remember him. He played for like 20 seasons. Seattle Seahawks. Okay. Kenneth Walker, K9. And then Zach um, Charbonnet. Um, Tennessee Titans, Tony Pollard and Tajay Spears. Okay, so I would put us, yeah, again, like going into the season, I would put us like at four, uh, probably 14, 15, right, a, right around this area. I don't think that's a bad ranking if we were right around this area. Where do they have us? Arizona, James, Con Look, we're better than James Conner and Trey Benson. I don't care what anyone says. We're better than this. Najee Harris, we're better than J Jalen uh, Warren, who I think is actually really underrated. I think we're better than Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. I think we're, I would put this a, a lot higher. KC has a really good back uh, core. Isaiah Pacheco, uh, Clyde was hilarious, not really that great. But they also have another guy there, I forget what his name was, that ran a lot last season. But Isaiah Pacheco is really good. I'm surprised that he is so low. They kind of disrespected the Chiefs here. Okay, DeAndre Sw uh, Swift and Roshan Johnson. Tampa Bay got, yeah, Rashad White. But then who do they have behind him? Nobody. Oh, they're really putting us outside. Okay, they put the Bills above us. No, no, mind. not. I don't see, but again, I think the Bills should be higher. James Cook. James Cook, let him cook, was actually really good last year. And then they got Josh Allen behind James Cook. I mean, when you got Josh Allen behind James Cook, you should 100% be higher. I mean, the Ravens make sense because they got Lamar, too. Um, We are not even inside the top 20? Oh, they're really going to regret this rating at the end of the season. Saints, Alvin Kamara, and Jamal Williams. That's, like, that's a really nice one-two punch. I think that should be higher. How is this at 23? PFF, you're all over the place here, my guy. Joe Mixon... Who I get it, he's older, but Joe Mixon is still a great running back. Damian Pierce, I get it, he didn't really do much last season, and he, but he's young. He has a lot of potential. I think the Texans should be way higher. Commanders, I mean, yeah, they got Austin Eckler, they got Brian Robinson, they got um, Antonio Gibson's going, but they got Brian Robinson, Austin Eckler. I know, I think our squad's better than that, and it's just because Eckler's age, honestly. Patriots. Come on, man. They got freaking Antoine Antonio Gibson, who's known for fumbling the ball more than anything. Oh, they got Stevenson. No, Stevenson's pretty good. Where do they have us ranked? Okay, the Chargers, they just, all they did was go to Baltimore and steal every running back they had. Oh, they really disrespecting us. Carolina, Giant, they have us at 30. You guys, you guys are nasty. Okay. Yeah, now nah, you good. You guys are good. Wow. 30. You're going to disrespect Chase Brown and Zach Moss like that. Now, again, listen, I'm not trying to be unrealistic here. I'm not sitting here telling you that we're a top 10 unit. We're not. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I think we're top 15. I think we'll be top 10 at the end of the season. I think we're top 15. I'm going to not even argue if someone says we're top 20. But to put us at 30 is just what? And again, there's a lot of these I would say personally, I'd have higher up this list. There's a lot of these I'd have higher up and a lot of these I have lower. But I would say we are above a lot of these teams. I think we're top 20. Top 15, I would say. But even then, I think top 15 might be a little bit too much. Maybe top 20. If I'm being, you know, non-biased and realistic here. All right. Well, get ready. It's about to be Chase Brown season and a little Zach Moss on top of that. So, get ready, PFF. Receipts have been made. Who day?